Hey boys, it's Harmnad. Today, we're going to be customizing the Dinka Segoy in Grand Theft Auto Online. I'm looking forward to customizing this. I've never customized this car before. I don't really know how, but but anyways, let's get right into it. All right, guys, so starting off with the armor, of course, we're going to go all the way up on that. Brakes as well. Now, for the bumpers, we have front and rear options. So for the front bumpers, we have stock with canards. Okay, already pretty aggressive. That's interesting. Racer diffuser, racer diffuser with canards. Sweep diffuser, carbon sweep, primary sweep, arc diffuser, that looks pretty clean. Carbon arc diffuser, primary arc diffuser, GT diffuser, carbon GT diffuser, primary GT diffuser with canards, carbon downforce diffuser, primary downforce diffuser, or back to stock. I think we're going to go for the arc diffuser. I really liked how that looked with the, uh, with the carbon. We're going to do the carbon arc diffuser. For the rear bumper, we have the racer diffuser, performance diffuser, sweep diffuser, GT diffuser, speed diffuser, turbo diffuser, oh my god, or the carbon downforce diffuser. That looks absolutely Absolutely insane. I think I kind of want to go for something a little more subtle with this car, so I'm not really sure what to go for here. Uh, let's go for the performance diffuser. Why not? It seems okay. For the engine, all the way up, of course. For the exhaust, we can go for a round exhaust, oval exhaust, round cluster exhaust, sports exhaust, split exhaust, square cluster, or the angled square exhaust. Honestly, I like stock, but I think we can probably go for probably the sports exhaust. I like that look. Next up for the grill, we can do the top trim grill, rally grill, rally with top trim, track grill, track with top trim grill, GT grill, or the GT with the top trim grill. Honestly, I kind of like that look because it just adds a little bit more detail there, so let's go for that one. The hood, we can do a carbon stock hood, primary hood, carbon hood, vented hood, carbon vented, vented catch hood, street vented hood, rally hood, sports hood, dual vented hood, performance hood, carbon performance, or stock. Honestly, I'm sort of thinking about going for the uh, performance hood. It's it's pretty subtle. It's not too aggressive, which I kind of like. So let's go for that one. Next up, we got the headlights. We're going to go for Xenon on that. Next, we got the livery. We can add red stripes. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's sort of offset to the side. That's, that's pretty neat. I like that. Checker stripes, Segoy stripes. Interesting. Okay. Wave. That's pretty cool. Racer 23, Racer 29, Racer 99, Jack Jackal Racing, Wasabi Kit, Red Warrior, or none. Hmm, I kind of like the offset red stripe. I think we might try and work around that. Let's uh, let's add that to the car, why not? Next up, we got the mirrors. We can do a secondary frame, carbon frame, primary carbon frame, or the secondary carbon frame. Let's go for the, let's go for the carbon frame. I, I think it looks the best, honestly. Plate, yellow on black, of course. The respray. This is where things are gonna get interesting. I'm not 100% sure what color to go for with this thing. I honestly didn't mind the white too much, but at the same time, we could go for something a little bit different. You know what? Honestly, silver looks really good or white. I actually don't mind the white at all. You know what, guys? I think we're actually just going to stick with white. I kind of hate to do that, but it does look pretty good, I feel like. I think we're actually just going to keep it white all the way around. For the trim color, okay, this actually does a lot of the car, so I think we should probably go for a red to match up with the rest of the car, just to match up with the accent that we have on the car with the livery. Let's go for Torino red for the inside. I think that looks, uh, that looks pretty clean, I'd say. For the roof, we can add a rally scoop primary fin track scoop and carbon fin, air scoop and carbon antenna, square scoop and primary fin, GT scoop and rally antennas, or the sport scoop with rally antennas. Honestly, I don't really know if I love the roof scoop look. The only one that I do kind of like is like that one because it's super subtle. So you know what, we'll go for that one, why not? For these skirts, we can add carbon skirts, street skirts, carbon street, racer, carbon racer, jet skirt, carbon jet, rally skirt, or the carbon rally skirt. Kind of like the carbon rally skirt because it just separates that little bit of white right there. I think that's like kind of a cool little detail. We'll, we'll add that. Next up for the spoiler, we have the fin tail spoiler that we can add. Okay. That's pretty, pretty subtle. Racer tail spoiler, primary street spoiler, secondary street spoiler, carbon street, arrow spoiler. Okay, that's pretty cool. Carbon arrow spoiler, GT spoiler, carbon track spoiler, track mark two spoiler, carbon drag spoiler, secondary drag spoiler, sports spoiler, okay. Sprint spoiler, or none. I think we're probably gonna go for the Civic Type R sort of look with the uh, with the rear spoiler here. So I think we're just gonna add the regular arrow spoiler. The carbon arrow adds these little details. I, I just don't really like them too much, honestly. Next up for the suspension, I'm assuming, oh, okay, you can't actually uh, camber this thing out too bad. 
Let's just drop the suspension then. I think that looks pretty good. Next up, we got the transmission all the way up, of course, and the turbo as well. Next up, we got the wheels. The Segoy Concave are just a rim that you can put on any car in this game. So, you know, it almost makes sense to put the Segoys on the Segoy. However, I don't know. There's definitely some other rims we could put on this thing. They'd probably look pretty good. The Concave Mega Mesh actually worked pretty well with this car, I feel like. So, you know what? I'm going to go for those. Next up, we're going to change the color of those to black, I think, or maybe could go like stone silver. Uh, I feel like the black kind of fits better with this car though. Let's let's go black. For the tires, we're going to bulletproof those, of course, and we could add a tire design if we want to. We could go for Fukaru red. Kind of works with the red theme of the car. Let's do it. Why not? Last but not least, we have the window tint, and we are going to tint the windows all the way out as usual. Let's take this thing down to the ground. We're going to do a sound test and a review. All right, guys, here we are on the ground. Let's actually see how this thing sounds. It sounds honestly very basic, but I don't hate the sound. It's definitely not a bad sound. So, you know, that's pretty good. Is this thing actually front wheel drive? I need to find out. Let's let's see. It is front wheel drive and it's front wheel drive only. That's a bit unfortunate. I wish this thing was all wheel drive or rear wheel drive. However, I understand the Civic in real life is front wheel drive. So, you know, it does make sense. So far, this thing's actually pretty fast. I'm pretty impressed with how quick it is. Definitely could be faster, but for a front wheel drive, you know, sports car, it's, uh, it's, it's not too bad. I actually don't even know what class this thing is. I think it's a sports car. I'm pretty sure, but honestly, not 100% so don't quote me on it. This thing does backfire a lot, which uh, sounds really cool. It also has a really cool turbo noise, which I'm really liking. The car itself doesn't sound too good, but the backfires mixed with the turbo noise definitely makes up for it, I think. For the car being front wheel drive, it actually handles like semi-decently. I'm interested to see how it does on this section of the road here. Let's find out. So far, what I can see is that the back end of the car is actually really loose. I thought that it would be a little a little more planted, but it likes to drift a little bit, this thing. Obviously, it's front-wheel drive, so like drifting isn't really a thing with this car. The tail likes to slide out, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Overall, though, I'm pretty impressed with how this car actually handled uh, the handling section of the test. Uh, it definitely could be better. It's, you know, there's a lot of cars that have outperformed this thing, that's for sure. Um, but it's not, you know, too, too bad. For what it is, you know, for a front-wheel drive car in GTA, this thing is actually probably the best one I've ever driven. I think it's probably the fastest front-wheel drive car in the entire game, actually, as a matter of fact. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I, I, am, I am feeling quite confident in me saying that. It's definitely, I think, you know, one of the better looking front wheel drive cars in the game. I think they knocked it out of the park with this thing. It kind of does look just like the Civic Type R in real life or just, you know, the new generation Civic. Um, so, you know, good on Rockstar for almost you know, committing copyright infringement. Um, I, I appreciate that a lot. Overall, I'd say, you know, if you guys have got the money lying around, I obviously wouldn't recommend spending it right now because tomorrow we're literally going to be getting a bunch of new cars. But if you got a bunch of extra money, I would say probably not a bad idea to pick up a Segoy. You know, you know, if you're into that whole thing, if you're into front wheel drive cars, if you're into Civics, I would say the Segoy is definitely the one to go for. I'm pretty impressed with how this thing actually performs. You know, the handling could be a little bit better. The acceleration could be a little bit better. But at the end of the day, it is a front wheel drive, you know, Honda Civic. And, you know, for that reason, I'd say I recommend the car. The price of it is a bit steep. It is $1.28 million, which is a ton of money. But if you're into front wheel drive cars, if you're into Civics, it might be worth it to you. For any average person, I would say, you know, I probably don't recommend the car. But if you're into Civics anyways, I'd say, you know, you probably would want to get this thing. And, you know, the performance is there. That's for sure. Could be better, but it is what it is. Anyway, guys, I think that's pretty much it for the customization and the review today. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like. If not, dislike. Subscribe if you guys are new, and I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace.